In today's video, I'm gonna give you my top five favorite chest exercises, along with some great strategies of how to really grow that chest fast. We're gonna do some compound lifts, some isolation lifts, and we're also gonna throw in some supersets. The chest has a couple different parts to it, but what you have to know is that you have an upper and a lower part. Many times you'll have to work on one part of your chest more than the other, depending on what you need work on. Some people find it easier to build a lower part of the chest like me, and some people find it harder to build a lower part of the chest and find an easier time building the upper part. Incline movements will hit the upper part of the chest, whereas decline and flat movements will hit the lower and the middle part of the chest. There's also the center part of your chest as well, and there are specific exercises and ways to target that. I'll be going over exercises to target each of these parts, so let's jump right in to the very first and the best exercise for chest. The incline barbell or dumbbell press is the ultimate chest exercise. With the barbell, you will help increase your overall power, which will allow you to grab heavier weights for your chest, and that will help the muscle grow. With the dumbbells, which I'm gonna to use today to demonstrate, you're gonna hit your chest even more than the barbell because of a freer range of motion. Start by pinching your shoulder blades really tight and then lay back and press straight up. Bring the weights back down slightly higher than your nipple line and make sure you get it nice and low to give that chest a nice stretch. If you wanna keep the tension on your chest, don't lock out all the way. Make sure you go heavy with this one, and as soon as you're done, drop the weight, and you're gonna do a superset. You're gonna superset with some incline dumbbell flies. Keep your elbows slightly bent, bring your arms out to your sides like you're about to give someone a big hug, and then bring them back in. Stop right before you get the dumbbell straight up over your shoulders to keep the pressure and the tension on your chest. Next, we got an exercise for the center of your chest. We're gonna take two dumbbells, hold them together against each other, and you're gonna lie down on an incline bench. Press with the dumbbell straight up and bring them down at a level where the top part of the dumbbell is hitting your upper chest. Squeeze the dumbbells together really tight to hit the center of the chest even more. Next, we're gonna do a flat wide grip barbell press. Here I like to grab the rings of the barbell with my pointer fingers, lift the barbell up and bring it down to your nipple line and then press straight up. Again, if you want to work on your chest more, then avoid the lockout. On this next exercise, we're going to hit the upper chest again. You're going to grab two cables and position them at a decent amount lower than your shoulders. Grab both the cables, walk out a little bit and bring your hands up and together, really squeezing at the end of the movement. When I do this movement, I always keep my hands open as much as possible because I feel like when I do that, I feel it a lot more in my chest. Now we finally have a movement for the lower part of the chest. We're gonna grab a barbell and we're gonna use it on a decline bench now. We're gonna bring the barbell under our nipple line at about the start of our rib cage. Again, press straight up and don't lock out if you wanna keep the pressure on the chest. So that's pretty much it guys. Those are my favorite exercises for the chest. I usually won't do all of them in one workout, so make sure you spread them out. Also make sure that you pull back your shoulders and really pack them together nice and tight for all of your chest exercises, as this will help you focus on the chest muscle a lot more. I hope this video has helped you guys out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Pump it.